Hi dear friends and subscribers, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show and in this uh, particular Cricket Happening Show we will see, look at our first day's play where India finished on 273 for 7 at close of play and I am sure they won't be happy with this score uh, because they know, uh, in, uh, I mean uh, with 273 for 7 with only Mahindra Singh Dhoni at the crease uh, but the good thing for India was uh, Sachin Tendulkar went on to make his 50 uh, after uh, probably in a span of uh, one year I would say uh, that he had a half century so he made 76 so that was a refreshing thing other than that Gambhir contributed 60 runs uh, but England were simply simply superb with their bowling on a track which did not really aid the uh, pace bowlers or the spinners uh, James Anderson with his very good reverse swing bowling uh, really really stood out with three wickets and as far as the third one day international against Bangladesh and West Indies was very crucial for West Indies to actually win that and they did that. So they are staying in the hunt for this five match one day series not allowing Bangladesh uh, any easy uh, easy pickings there. Today West Indies uh, had a very good victory thanks to a marvelous 126 uh, slammed by uh, Marlon Samuels uh, in which he took 24 runs of one particular over which was the turning point in the game because they needed 34 runs of the last five overs, 45th overs ball by Rubel Hussain and Samuels after reaching his century uh, slapped Rubel Hussain for 24 runs in over inclusive of three fours and two sixes uh, scored in consecutive fashion. Well, we'll talk about that. So West Indies have uh, now taken one, uh, taken one game there so now it stands with Bangladesh still in the lead at 2-1 uh, with uh, two more, uh, three more games to, two more games to come. Well, as far as uh, uh, so let's start off with the game between India and England. Uh, as you know, uh, the series is level right now. Today was the third test and uh, India once again won the toss. So Alistair Cook has been losing the toss uh, on a very, very uh, you know, consistent basis and once again Dhoni won the toss and Dhoni had no hesitation uh, in uh, putting India to bat. In, in fact, you know, in, uh, I mean, having his own team bat. And for India, the only change, as I said, was Ishan Sharma coming in place of Umesh Yadav. For England, it was uh, Ian Bell and Johnny Barristow uh, taking the places uh, of uh, of uh, Stuart Broad, and uh, uh, there was uh, Samit Patel's uh, place. No, in fact, Samit Patel was playing, so uh, it was. Uh, but no, sorry, there was no Jonathan Barristow. Samit Patel. They decided to play a spinner, Samit Patel, and uh, they had Ian Bell into the squad, so there was no place for Johnny Barristow. Well, as far as uh, this match was concerned, all started with Gambhir and Seva uh, giving a very good opening partnership. In fact, um, uh, I mean, uh, they're, they're playing very cautiously. In fact, there was some movement uh, earlier on and some bounce earlier on for Anderson and Finn. Uh, and uh, Gambhir and Seva had to really, really, uh, you know, look at, the, look at the way of playing. Gambhir was the one who was getting runs. But Seva then uh, slowly made 23 runs of, with three boundaries before Seva was out in a very, very, uh, uh, you know, unusual circumstances. <laughs> in fact, he was run out because uh, they already had taken the second run and he was going in for the third run uh, without even hearing the call from Gambhir who was saying no, no. But Seva kept on running and he was run out for 23 with three fours. After that, Chateshwar Pujara, the form man, after doing so well uh, in the previous two matches, uh, succumbed today to the bowling of Monty Panacea and arm ball actually getting the better of Chateshwar Pujara as he was gone, bowled for 16 with two boundaries and in walked in Sachin Tendulkar with a score on 88 for 2. Gambhir uh, gave some good company to Sachin Tendulkar but only for some time after Gambhir himself was a victim of uh, Monty Panacea as Gambhir was con caught by crowd of bowling of Panacea for 60 with 12 fours. Tendulkar was joined in by Kohli. Tendulkar, well, he took his time. He was very, very watchful with uh, Panacea because he just came 15 minutes before lunch. But after lunch also he was playing cautiously. But he was, but what was good about him was one could see uh, that old Tendulkar uh, coming back because he punched one of the back foot, which he does it with effortless ease. Uh, then he carved one through the point region, uh, and uh, there were some very good um, uh, strokes on the uh, other offside too, uh, with some lovely drives. Virat Kohli once again continued his poor form in the series like Jonathan Trott has been struggling in this series and Virat Kohli was a victim of some very good bowling from Anderson as Virat Kohli was caught, caught by Graham Swan in the slips of the bowling of Anderson for 6 and that made the score 136 for 4. Yuvraj Singh and Tendulkar added some quick runs in fact uh, they, they, they added in, no, no, yeah they added some quick runs uh, in fact uh, Yuvraj Singh, Singh was playing his strokes 
uh, he hit four fours and one six in score of 32. But before that, what he did is um, he gave a very limp, uh, a limp shot from him, giving a very easy catch to the covers. Alex to Cook, the captain, approaching the catch of the bowling of Graham Swan, the only wicket for Graham Swan today, as you are saying, was gone for 32. And India were not doing well on a wicket which was really, really easy for batting. Mahindra Singh Dhoni joined Sajin Tendulkar. Sajin Tendulkar was looking good, playing all his strokes, uh, looking the old Tendulkar. But then Anderson did him in as Tendulkar uh, got an edge to a ball outside the off stump. Prior behind the stumps took the catch and Tendulkar was walking for 76 with 13 boundaries. But the good thing for India was Sajin Tendulkar had run into some form. Dhoni was joined in the Ashwin and uh, after that, uh, after Tendulkar left from 230 for 6, it was a good partnership slowly building up. Uh, but towards the close, Anderson saw to it with his very good reverse swing bowling with which he got the wickets of Tendulkar Kohli. He also got a reverse swing going with Ravi Chandran Ashwin being castled by Anderson just before close of play for 21. That left Zahir Khan not out or not towards close of play to serve our eight deliveries. Mahindra Singh Dhoni, the captain, was well entrenched. Not well entrenched, he was uh, just there. Uh, batting on uh, 22, um, survived, surviving for the morrow, and India finished at 273 for 7. Not a good score at all by any standards because this pitch has been playing very easy. And England, with their powerful batting lineup and you know very well strengthened by Ian Bell coming into the squad, I think uh, India, unless and until Mahendra Singh Dhoni can get some support from the tail enders like Pragyan Ojai, Chan Sharma, and Zahir Khan, uh, it looks uh, pretty, pretty difficult according to me. Uh, because I think the new ball is also due. Uh, so new ball, uh, so the new ball, uh, whether the new ball due or new ball is taken, I am not really sure. But uh, 273 for seven uh, is at the close of play score for India, which is not looking good. Anderson reverse swing bowling superb. 21 overs, five maidens, 68 runs and three wickets to him. Monty Panis 35 overs, 12 maidens, 74 runs and two wickets bowled well. Grant Swan a solid wicket of Yuvraj Singh, which was gifted to him. 14 overs, one maiden, one for 46. Uh, Stephen Finn looked impressive without taking a wicket, 20 overs, 2 minutes, none for 69. So let's uh, get on from this match. As I said, in, in India have a great big task on hand. And unless and until uh, the uh, India is going to, uh, the tail is really going to wag with uh, being given good company by Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Um, other than that, I wouldn't say anything. It's going to be very difficult for India. <laughs> well, as far as uh, Bangladesh West Indies is concerned, we were all hoping uh, that, you know, Bangladesh again will continue uh, they are uh, uh, the, the spinning ways, uh, spinning and winning ways, but the spinning winning ways today uh, didn't really, really materialize for them. And I thought that you know uh, the, the 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 dice was really, really uh, loaded in favor of Bangladesh with the turning track. But even though it was a turning track, uh, well, the, what, what the good thing that happened for West Indies today <coughs> was Sunil Narine, uh, after really, really struggling in the whole of the series in the Test matches and the One Day Internationals suddenly hit the right form at the right time and picked up four wickets. His figures were the ones which were really, really uh, good to read. Ten hours, no maiden, 37 runs and four wickets. So that was Sunil Nareen. And he was the one who actually gave him the breakthrough. Tommy Mikbal was out, uh, caught by Devon Thomas uh, behind the wickets of the morning Nareen for 22. Anamul Haq, the, um, uh, the maiden century which he got in the second test, today he could score only 33. He tried to flick a ball from Nareen uh, through uh, uh, off his pads, but he was uh, trapped in front by Nareen for 33 or 53 balls with three fours and one six. Naim Islam continued to struggle. He was a victim of Nareen too. In fact, Nareen had uh, dismissed the top three of the uh, Bangladeshi batsmen for the, with a the score on 67 on the board. And with a score on 78, Virasami Parmal was included, the left arm spinner. He also struck by getting the wicket of Nasir Hussain, uh, who was caught by Paul out of the bowling Parmal for six. And then it looked, it, it, Mushfiqur Rahim. And uh, Mominul Haq then uh, went for a partnership, but Mominul Haq was a victim of Gale for 12 of 20 balls, 2 fours. But Mushfiq Rahim got a good, good partner uh, in Mahmoodullah. Nasir Hussain was also gone for 6. And Mahmoodullah really, really played some very good strokes, very bold strokes by Mahmoodullah. As far as Mushfiq Rahim was concerned, you know what, uh, what uh, I mean, he is a very, very uh, busy uh, player. He likes to keep the scoreboard busy, and that's what he was precisely doing. And both of them were doing it well, and they had taken the score to 168, at which time Mushfiqur Rahim was a victim of left-arm spinner Virsami Permal for 38 or 58 balls. In the end, uh, it was Mashave Murtaza who was out for a blob. He was stumped by Thomas of the morning of Sunil Narin for a duck. And then Soha Ghazi, we have only heard him about his, about uh, you know getting wickets with the ball and his battle with uh, Chris Gale. But today Soha Ghazi showed that he can bat too. 
In fact, uh, he gave good company to Mahmudullah, who went on to make 52 with 3 fours and 1 6, becoming victim of Dwayne Smith holding out to the deep. So, Haggazi, with the help of the Tailenders, uh, he got 30 to his name. He saw to it that uh, Bangladesh made 227. In, in fact, he was the last man out with the score on 227 for Bangladesh, with Soha Ghazi making 30 of 36 balls. And let me tell you, he was playing some very, very good strokes. He was hitting, um, he was uh, cross batting the ballers for boundaries. He was also hitting and he was um, hitting it with uh, very good uh, timing. And he had 30 runs to his credit of 36 balls with 5 fours that enabled Bangladesh to finish on 227. Razak was out for three. Ruben Hussain remained not out on one. And for balling figures, as I said, Nareen's figures definitely stood out. Four for 37. That is something that West Indies will really take today. Ram Paul, four rows for 19, was costly. Sami, two for 46. Two for 40 for Virsami Parmal was included. Bowled well. One for 36 for Chris Gale. Bowled economically and also picked up the wicket. None for 21 for Kiran Pohl, out of two. Three overs for 14 runs on one wicket for Dwayne Smith. Marlon Samuels bowled one over, which cost him seven runs. Now, just as far as the West Indies innings were concerned, well, once again, uh, Mashfiq Rahim, as a practice, he always gives the ball to Swaha Ghazi. He bowled the first over, and probably a psychological pressure on Chris Gale, and Chris Gale was playing a, play, a, played a maiden over. Even the 227 score was not so big. Chris Gale played a maiden over. The first over was a maiden. Uh, after that, Mashfiq Murtaza, who took the wicket of Chris Gale, uh, dismissed him. Chris Gale really not really looking good at all, apart from one boundary that he hit, uh, which was his uh, individual score. But he was gone. Uh, getting a ball with Mushmid Rahim, got a ball to bounce. Chris Gale uh, did not, uh, uh, you know, offer the blade properly and he got an edge onto it. Mushfiq Rahim behind the wickets took the catch and that was the breakthrough for Bangladesh. So Kiran Powell was there along with Marlon Summers. Kiran Powell, um, you know, um, showed that using his feet is the best way to attack the spinners and he attacked uh, Swaha Ghazi and put him over mid wicket for a six and then uh, it was long, over long arm for a six, in fact. And then Marlon Samuels joined him and that was it. So from 15 for 1, the West Indies score was started galloping with Marlon Samuels uh, living dangerously. He was playing some stroke. He was, um, he was taking his chances. Uh, it was coming off and uh, he was doing very well. And Powell contributed 47 of 59 balls, 4 fours and 1 six. He was a victim of Mahmudullah. Darren Bravo once again continued to struggle. He was out for 13 of 23 balls, 2 fours. Um, and in fact, uh, Marlon Samuels was losing partners at the other end there. But Marlon Samuels, in the company of Kiran Powell, had collected a lot of runs. He drove well, he cut well, he was very good square of the wicket, he was pulling well, he was done with tremendous force. And not only that, after reaching his century, he, uh, 45th over, 34 runs were required for. In fact, uh, I would say Bangladesh were in a very good situation because what they did is they first uh, uh, they had two big hitters sent to the pavilion. After Darren Bravo was out to Naeem Islam for 13, Kiran Pollard was clean bowled by Abdul Razak for 1 and Dwayne Smith was sent to the pavilion, caught Naeem Islam, bowled Razak. So that made the score 182 for 5 and suddenly Bangladesh were in with a sniff. But, uh, but Marlon Samuels in the 45th over bowled by Ruben Hussain crashed him for 24 runs, hitting him for 3 sixes and 3 fours and 2 sixes and finally uh, he saw to it that Mercedes will win even though he got out, he made 126 of 149 balls, 17 fours and two sixes, and that was it. Uh, 228 for six, West Indies going home, and uh, Bangladesh uh, losing this match with the series at 2-1 now. Well, unfortunately, <coughs> I'm having some problem with my throat. I'll have to end up my report here. Thanks for your company, and thanks for watching Cricket Happening. Sorry, I'll have to end it here, uh, and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you.